Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Mathematics J E E. This problem is a derived version of a J E Main 2006 PYQ. It is a question of binomial theorem. I advise you to give an honest attempt to this question before seeing the discussion. So let us start the discussion. Here it says, let for any natural number n, a n is defined like this and b n is defined like this. And here this t m is defined like this. If b 2025 equal to lambda times a 2025, then the value of lambda is asked. Okay. So let us decode the expressions given in this question. Let us try to simplify this complex expressions first. So if we try to interpret this expression, we would write a n equal to 2 plus 1 over n factorial summation. This m running from 0 to n minus 1, then 1 over t m. Now t m is given like this. So it would be summation r equal to m to m plus 1 then 1 over r factorial n minus r factorial. Now, the first thing that has to strike in our mind that this form is somewhat familiar to us. How we can convert this series into summation of binomial coefficients using this trick. We multiply and divide by n factorial. So, it will be like this. Now, this thing will become the binomial coefficient n c r now this n factorial will get cancelled with this n factorial so this series simply becomes 2 plus this summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 then 1 over this summation if we open up this summation it will become n c m plus n c m plus 1 now we need to simplify this series further. How? Now, this is a standard formula. We had to remember that ncr plus ncr minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 cr. This we have to use here. So, this will be equal to n plus 1 c m plus 1. So, the series becomes 2 plus summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 then 1 over n plus 1 c m plus 1. Now if we open up this series it will become 2 plus this if we open up it will become 1 over n plus 1 c1 plus 1 over n plus 1 c2 plus so on up to 1 over n plus 1 c n. Now, there is a trick. We can write this 2 as 1 plus 1. Now, we can write this again as 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1. Why did we write this like this? Because this 1 can be written as in this case n plus 1 c0 and this is n plus 1 c n plus 1. So, we get this complete series as a n equal to summation k equal to 0 to n plus 1 1 over n plus 1 c k because if you expand this you will get the exact same series that we got here now this is our expression of a n let us call this one now let us decode the series b n what is this this bn if we copy in the next page bn equal to 1 plus n plus 1 over n factorial summation this m plus 1 divided by tm where tm is this okay so m plus 1 divided by summation r equal to m to m plus 1 1 over r factorial n minus r factorial and this is running from m equal to 0 to n minus 1. 
now we can again simplify this by the same method that we just discussed it will be if we multiply and divide by n factorial this n factorial it get cancelled and this will be nothing but summation r equal to m to m plus 1 then n c r now if we expand this it will become 1 plus n plus summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 then m plus 1 divided by this will be equal to n c m plus n c m plus 1 which is equal to by the formula we just discussed it will be equal to n plus 1 c m plus 1 so this will be in the denominator now again if we expand this series it will become 1 plus n plus this will be 1 over n plus 1 c1 plus this will be 2 over n plus 1 c2 plus so on up to this will be n over n plus 1 cn now we see that this can be again represented as a sigma form or in compact form if we somehow convert this thing into this form m plus 1 divided by n plus 1 c m plus 1 so this thing we can write as 1 plus n divided by 1 so 1 again we can write as n plus 1 c n plus 1 so now it is actually summed up with this remaining series and one term is missing here and that term is equal to 0 so we have to add a 0 here and 0 we can again write as 0 over n plus 1 c 0 so this series b n becomes summation k equal to 0 to n plus 1 k over n plus 1 c k this is the series b n we got if you expand this b n you will get the exact same series like this so now we are asked to calculate the ratio b2025 divided by a2025 which is equal to lambda so let us try to find a general relation between b n and a n now this thing can be written as summation k equal to 0 to n plus 1 then n plus 1 minus k divided by n plus 1 c n plus 1 minus k how if we expand this b n it will become 0 over n plus 1 c0 plus 1 over n plus 1 c1 plus so on up to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 c n plus 1 now this binomial coefficients can be written as ncr equal to nc n minus r so it will become 0 over n plus 1 c n plus 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 c n plus so on up to this will become n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 c0 now if we try to find the general term of this series it will become you can see easily summation n plus 1 minus k divided by n plus 1 ck from k equal to 0 to n plus 1 this is the idea that we have to use here so now this will become simply n plus 1 c n plus 1 minus k will become simply n plus 1 c k so this will be if we break this series it will become n plus 1 then summation 1 over n plus 1 c k from k equal to 0 to n plus 1 minus now this part will become simply summation k equal to 0 to n plus 1 then k over n plus 1 c k now this part is nothing but b n itself so from here we can write we can take this b n in the left hand side so 2 b n will be equal to n plus 1 times now what is this series this series is simply a n so this is the equation that means b n equal to 
n plus 1 divided by 2 times a n. This is the relation we got between b n and a n. Now we are asked to calculate the ratio b2025 divided by a2025. So we put n equal to 2025 in this expression. This will become b2025 equal to this will become simply 2026 divided by 2. So 1013 times a2025. So we can see easily that this is nothing but our lambda. So the value of lambda asked in the question will be 1013. So 1013 is the correct answer for this question. I hope you understood this question.